With this power mill quick tip, we're going to be looking at how we can quickly change the settings from one toolpath to another by using the right click load settings option. On my screen, I have a roughing toolpath successfully calculated, and I'm fairly happy with the leads and links I have pulling in and out of this particular roughing toolpath. If I come to my rest roughing toolpath, however, the template that I created had the links set completely to safe. Now, I want to utilize the leads and links that I had set for the roughing toolpath with the rest roughing toolpath. So what I can do is with the toolpath that I want to change active, if I right click on the toolpath that I want to load the settings from and select load settings, it will change whatever settings dialog box I have open within Power Mill. And that's very important is that it will change this dialog box, the attributes within it to the other toolpaths attributes just by clicking load settings. You'll see here that it changed from safe to skim and on surface. And if I apply these changes, I get the outcome I was looking for. I'm going to hit accept to this. And we'll look at another example where I have a 3D offset finishing surface here. And then I did a 3D offset finished surface using a template. And within the template, the step down was set to something much larger. So if I look at my settings here, You'll see if I recycle the toolpath that my tolerance is set to 1,000s. So I may want that tighter, and I have a step over of 50,000s here. So I want to use the same settings as this 3D offset toolpath. So again, I am active and I've recycled this settings page. So now I'm going to right click on the toolpath that I want the settings from and select load settings. Now, here's something that we need to pay attention to it changes it for the entire settings dialog. That also means that my limits have changed. So what I need to do in this case is simply change my boundary to the boundary I want to use again, and then calculate the toolpath. And I get the results that I was looking for with the step over added from the previous toolpath. I hope you found this quick tip video helpful. Thank you for watching.